guys. I'm taking over the channel again permanently. This is my channel now. I am your host, the Three Proxies. And we're going to do OTT because I'm a degenerate and this was the first deck I built. Um, wow, the, the Three Proxy doing anything but a Force Clan? Wow, I know, crazy, right? You need these protect markers and they only have to be Masaki. If you don't run the Masaki ones, you're bad at the game. So let's get let's get into the profile. This is the starter. Don't need to explain that. We run all of the critical triggers. Why? Because this deck is fun and we can stack these on the top of our deck and die. The opponent die. Then we run four draw triggers because what's a deck without your draw trigger PGs? None exactly. Point proven. Then we run four heal trigger. I swear to God, if any of you guys say, oh, you don't need to run, shut up. That's literally all we can't run. Then we run two luck bird. He's a lucky bird. He draws cards. He's an 11k beater. After that, he's absolutely useless. Please shut up, Hound, and retire this card. Then we run four Farfell Magus. After it's placed, absolutely useless. Please shut up, Hound, and retire this card. Then we run... Whoa, all of my cards are now out of order. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, then we won three Oracle <coughs> Guardian Gemini. Shadow Powder will never get a chance to retire this card. Haha, -ha, counter charging engine. You have to be at three or more damage. So you actually have to take damage, like the game suggests. Whoa. Whoa. Then we run four Circle Magus. Wishy Road is literally high when they made this card. That's all I have to say. Which one? Circle Magus. It's not that broken. It's so good. It's good. It's so good. It's retarded. It, you, you get to draw, and on top of that, you get to filter your drive check? That's retarded. That's retarded. It's retarded. Then we, then we literally... Have the card that says, fuck you to Shadow Paladin. Uh, fuck you to every Retire Clan. Just fuck you in general. It's a 23k attacker when you put an AK behind it. And, uh, yeah, it's stupid. And, and and if you're ever playing Oracle Think Tank and you don't have four or more cards in hand, you're playing the game wrong. Then we run three Satoru Hime. It's, it's a blessing and a curse because... You have to use it kind of after your drive checks if you stack the card on top of your deck. Other than that, it's it's alright. Mainly just guard fodder, if I'm going to be honest. You mainly want this on the rear guard. This and a deer. You can just kill your opponent. What about Tom? Oh, speaking of Tom, he's right here. And he's stupid. He makes bad numbers. Don't run him. He's too good. You have to run him. No, he's not that good. He's, he's better than most. He makes bad numbers. I'd rather, win, I'd rather run Meme. But I'm running him because sometimes he does win games. Sometimes. Not all the time. He makes stupidly bad numbers and it's not okay. So you have to either on placement counter blast one just to make him a 15. Then you have to throw away an 8k to make him a booster to make him a 23. So then he hits magic. But then on top of that, right, that's now a 15k guard for most clans. That's a crit trigger. So now he's already not doing what he's supposed to be doing. It's mm -hmm. not like it's not like Mushimi, it's not like the the tank mammoth, it's not like um Battle Door Fighter where no matter how big you are, they have to now overguard them. They could go oh, 15k guard. Have it. Sure. I don't care. That's why I think he's a bad card because he tries to do what the Musashi tank mammoth and like all these other like Excel clans are supposed to be doing. He just did it bad. Now to our grade threes, our shiny, shiny grade threes. I have two of the origin rare Amaterasu because I'm a good boy like that. I have one of the normal one. I'm just going to shove that under the cool origin rare ones for a hot minute. Um, protect, on play, uh, act, count of us one, draw a card. Look at, look at the top card, put it at the top and bottom. And then you can also give it like a bunch of power because continuous gets 5k for every time you look at the top card of your deck or whatever. That's dumb. It's a really good beater. Um, but most of the time you want to be writing it for the Vanguard ability. Because drawing cards is good. Then, I know a lot of people are not going to like this. But I run 3 deer. Uh, a lot of people run as a 2 of. 
I can't tell you how many times I've seen two deers going to my damage zone, and I'm just like, oh wow, if I didn't run three, my my deck would actually be ruined. I would have no way to really close the game. So that's why we run it as a three of, because I like being safe. And if you guys don't like being safe, then don't watch my videos. It's like wrapping your willy. Yeah, don't be silly, wrap your willy. Then we run four Imperial Daughters, <coughs> two of the SVR, two of the normal ones that thighs aren't, they don't look as good in. I'm just going to stick with the feet, the SVR. Um, on placement, kind of boss one, look at the top two, put one to top, or put one to top the deck, uh, or put one to hand, and one to the top of the deck or into the soul, people will need to stop this playing this card. Everyone. And even those, even the Japanese players misplay this card. I can't tell you how many times I've been watching videos and they put the card on the bottom of the deck with Imperial Daughter's skill. It literally is mind-blowing how people don't know how to fucking read. Like, I joke around saying I don't know how to read, but no. no they, and, and, and anyone who's watching this video, if any of you guys see anyone do this, literally bitch smack your friend. Literally tell them to stop and read their actual cards and don't just play a meta deck because they think it's cool. Not about because they think it's cool, just because they'll think they're a win. I built this deck because I didn't know how broken it was going to be. And I don't play it that much anymore. T said you should play it. Hero. And then, uh, then he has another one. Once per turn, so plus one, you can give a unit 6k. So you give your Tom 6k and make it a 15k. And then you slap an 8k behind it, and now it's a 23. And now it's only a 15k card for your opponent, so it doesn't really matter that you just went through all of them. That is the deck profile for the most dominating deck ever to exist in Vanguard history. Changed my mind. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. This deck is pretty straightforward. Draw a bunch of cards, crit your opponent to death, and don't die. That's it. That's a tall order. Yeah, yeah, because people don't know how to read Imperial Daughter. So. You're right. How many times have you seen that, T-Sane? Um, when we were at regionals in uh, Chicago, I saw it twice. <laughs> Dude, there's... Both they, they were both my opponent. And they... Uh, thankfully, that was in round one. No, mm -hmm. round two, and it was in round four. And both those rounds I won. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really care. But, yeah, I saw it twice. On the tournament floor. Yeah. People read your fucking cards. Don't build a deck because you think you're going to win because of it. That's retarded. What if it's the only deck you got? But you then read you your card. If it's the only deck you got, <laughs> you should know it like, like the back of your hand. I, <laughs> I kind of got a point here. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to my rambling. See you later.